Today, I'm going to show you how you can use the new feature that draft to digital has, which is pretty impressive because in the past, you can format your Word document into EPUB, which is for other e-readers aside from Kindle, to Mobi, which is for Kindle, and also to a PDF, which you can distribute to your readers before you actually upload onto your e-reader retailers. They have a new feature though now to transfer your book from just an ordinary ebook into a print book, it'll have special styles on it. So I'll show it to you in a minute because pictures speak louder than words. I've actually been using draft to digital for a while now, and I've been quite ecstatic with them because first off, when I first loaded my manuscript onto their platform, I could not get the layout right. So even though I followed all the prompts and as it turned out, I didn't understand the use of styles on my word doc. I contacted them and through the website and then a the kind person emailed me back in 24 hours. First off, she corrected my manuscript. So the layout was perfect. She taught me with a detailed email sent to me explaining why it didn't reformat correctly in the first place and that I realized this was my fault. And finally, she assured me that if I had any other problems, I can contact her and she was going to write everything up for me, and which she did, which was an amazing thing. I really like draft to digital. I will call them D2D now just for short. So with this new update, I wanted to show you my fellow authors how to use their platform and how to set it up, load it up so you can use those new features that they have. Let's say you are new to the pro template offers that they have. They also said that you don't have to use their platform. In fact, I got an email. They said this when they sent this email said that you don't even have to distribute your books with them to use the templates and that the eBooks that you produce is yours to keep and you can distribute it through any channels that you want. But they do have a, a wide array of channels that they go to. So if you'd like to reach more readers worldwide, I would suggest that you do that. And also they have this universal book links that you can use. So your readers from anywhere around the world can click on that one link. Let's say they're in India, they'll get the Amazon in India, or let's say they want to get Kobo, they'll get the Kobo in India. You first of all, create your account. You will be brought to this page and fill out all the necessary information. Don't worry about the universal book links. This is what I mentioned before. All this you can just add on later. The most important thing you want to go to is you want to go to my book. So you click on my books. Let's say you don't have any books yet. What you just do is you click to add new book. It'll prompt you to add the contributors that you want. You can just keep adding it. And then this is how you browse browse for your book file, get back onto your computer. And then you download the book file there and you can click down the, the search terms that they want. And don't worry about the ISBN because they will actually give you the ISBN for all the books. For the bisect subjects, basically you have to, to go down here. So let's say my book, say if it was an art book, I'll click on art. And if you open it up, it's very self-explanatory. And then you just go to save and continue. And once you do that, it'll get onto the page whereby you can now upload your book file. So let's say I'm putting up this book, No Accident, which is a teen novel. I've populated all the necessary information over here. I just go to save and continue and it'll bring me to the next page, which is the layout page. Go to browse and you put in the cover image. This is what I meant earlier on when I had issues, which was the uh, chapter layout because there are a lot of chapters in this book and it wasn't the right chapter titles. If it isn't the right titles that are coming out over here, you just go to help. These aren't my chapters. It'll probably give you three different options. And if it's still not right, you can just email them and then they will change. It. They'll probably take around 24 hours to get back to you. If you want to include a title page, you can include a copyright page. I wouldn't, if you want to put a dedication, you can also do that. You can also put an also buy page. The last thing is you want it, if you want it to put a teaser, you can add the teaser to the book. And again, they will ask you which book is it? That brief description that you put, it'll put down that description onto the teaser. Uh, save and continue, bring you to the next page. And this is where it's a little bit more exciting because this is the new style that they have. So in the past, they only have this all purpose. But right now, if you have mystery and thriller, you can have the choice of it. Either you want it to have a clue or if you want it to be a classy mystery. If you have a, if you have a romance, you can decide what kind of romance it is. It'll give it a different style. I'll, I'll show you what I mean because I actually was able to download what I have. And then again, for science fiction, you can have different forms of science fiction and fantasy look that you might want to have. And this is also translated to the print book. If it's nonfiction, they also have 
you know, whether it's just a, a textbook or a, just a block. Once you have hit that, you'll just say, I have reviewed the manuscript and approved. You're supposed to be able to see it over here, but for some reason it's not uploading for me, but perhaps it'll upload it for you. My internet may be a little bit slow. I'm going to try the classy mystery. I'm just going to hit download PDF. It, everything will be done automatically for you. So there's really nothing for you to do. Say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit save. Once it's downloaded, it downloads pretty fast. And then you can take a brief look to see what your book looks like. Now, this is what I meant. See how the first page it says no accident, paranormal chapter one. This is actually the, the version that's the EPUB version. So the EPUB actually looks really pretty. It almost looks like a physical book. You don't have to worry about where you're going to put page numbers. It puts everything up for you as if it's the physical book itself. Once you have done this, hit save and continue. Then you decide where you would like the book to be published to have it distributed to overdrive. That's a new relationship that they have with overdrive. Let's say you want to send it to all of them. A lot of us, we will just upload our book onto Amazon and we have Amazon links, but a couple of these e-reader retailers will not accept your document. If you have an Amazon link anywhere in them, one of them that's really, really fussy about that would be the iBooks. I'm not going to hit it submit right now, but I want to show you another feature, which is the different formats that they have. So if you click onto formats, if you want it to, you could hit update the audiobook and then they will connect you to the audio book producer called find a way voices. If you want to just have it also in a print book, you can have your print ISBN here. It is optional. It says if you have a separate ISBN for your paperback, enter it here and ISBN is not required. If your book doesn't have an ISBN, just leave it blank and they will add it for you. And then this is the various sizes that you can choose from. You can choose from a 4.5 by five. And it really depends on the kind of book that you have. If you actually uh, go to some sites like my site at yourauthorbusiness.com, I have actually a template to tell you if you have like a children's book, you might want to have it as an eight by five by eight by five, like a square. If it was a novel, but it was for young adults, it needs to be a little bit bigger, like a 6.9, six by nine. And also, so if it's just like a trade paperback, it, you might just want it to be a 4.5 by six. So you download the PDF and it takes a moment for it to get the file. This is for the print book. So if you open it over here, you will see that the print book looks a little bit different. A couple last things before we log off. I wanted you to see that with under all purpose, you can just do the simple style, modern watercolor, corner decoration, decor, and a whole bunch of different things, even under all purpose. And then, and then romance, they have three options for science fiction and fantasy. They have a few, like five options. And then for nonfiction, they have just a couple. So I didn't do for every single one of them, but what you could do is if you can try which ones you want and download the PDF, and then that way you can take a look. So strangely enough, this page hasn't been been loading up for me. So I've actually emailed them to see what they would uh, do for me. I don't know if it's the browser that I'm using, but it's supposed to load up so you can kind of see what your book looks like according to the styles that you have chosen. One other thing I want to let you know is you need to click this if you want to enable the drop caps. Real briefly, I wanted to show you the pages. So if you look, this is what the corner style looks like. You see it does it for every chapter. The last one is this one. And this is what the fantasy book styles look like. So it's basically for every every time that you have um, a chapter, new chapter, I suppose, like when you do it the, right at the beginning, like the summary I have, and like if you have a prologue, puts this little bit of decoration for your ebook as well as for your print book. This is a really nice touch that they have, which is really unusual and makes it um, really worthwhile looking at. I'm going to show you the drop cap. See how they have the drop cap over here? This also has the drop cap. I did one over here that didn't have the drop cap. So you'll see, so this one, I didn't have a drop cap. I didn't check mark the enable drop caps. So a little bit different for each one of these styles, as well as if you enable the drop cap or you don't enable the drop cap. To preview it in a Kindle, you can download the Kindle previewer here. It'll bring you to the Amazon page and then you can just download it in case you don't have your previewer yet. And this of course is for EPUB, which is for all other e-readers out there. You can just download. A couple of final words before we log off. I just wanted to go through with you the frequently asked questions, because if you have any issues that you wanted to clarify, you can go to the FAQ page 
page. From here, you can see that you can reach them by using the contact page button over here. They're pretty responsive and it'll also give you bookstores that D2D distributes to. And you may decide to maybe just distribute to Kobo and all the rest, but do iBooks and Barnes and Noble yourself. But Barnes and Noble should be quite easy if you go through the note press. They also have a few things in the pipeline. They will eventually go to, to Ingram, Google Play and Amazon itself. You can also upload RTF. They can format the book from a Word or Word doc or docx format on RTF into an EPUB. If you just upload an EPUB to them, they will also accept that. What I've done myself is I've actually sometimes I've gone to that and used their formatter to get my EPUB and also my Mobi. And I've used the Mobi that they have uh, formatted and I've uploaded that onto Amazon myself. And that's fine. It's in the terms and service that it will be fine to do that. I actually have another video that shows you um, quite extensively how you would be able to download the EPUB, Mobi and PDF file, but it's pretty easy. And so you might be able to figure it out yourself without going through my YouTube video. All the terms and services will be here. Pretty much much explains it all over here. You can also click on my reports and see what kind of uh, sales you've been having. It's a pretty robust system that they have and I really like what, they, what they've done for us. And you can also go through the blog and see if there's anything there. This is the one that we just did, the beautiful EPUB styles that we're talking about. I guess that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson whereby we set up a D2D account, learn how to maneuver around the system, upload your manuscript and took a look at the new style option they have for both eBooks as well as for print books. Now, if you have any questions please leave a comment below i appreciate a thumbs up and if you have a special request for a video on any author business type issues please post it below subscribe to my channel and visit me at your authorbusiness.com site until next tuesday goodbye